right here in downtown New Orleans. How's everybody doing? Good? All right. Well, we're going to be doing even better very soon because we have blues legend R.L. Royce here tonight. All the way down from Mississippi. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. We're so glad to have a live audience here, and it's great to be having this show streamed every Wednesday at the same time. You can tune in anywhere around the world, and we thank our partners and their Facebook pages for providing that, and we're talking about the uh, Louisiana Music Factory and Offbeat Publications provide that service. And we thank them so much. I'm uh, Jason Patterson from the Snug Harbor Jazz Bistro down the way there. And they asked me to introduce the band and tell you a little bit about the Jazz Foundation because, hey, they're important to at least our musicians and so many other people. They've been down here since uh, Hurricane Katrina helping out musicians. You know, musicians don't have a lot of safety nets to help them out when they can't make a living. Just their girlfriends. <laughs> nah, not really. But uh, they uh, have been helped so much by the Jazz Foundation for so many years. And here we've had a couple of uh, hurricanes and a pandemic and all sorts of things that get in the way of making a living for our, our pride, you know. Uh, music is very important to New Orleans and uh, it should be very important to you. It's important to human beings because, hey, it's medicinal, isn't it? Makes you feel good, huh? When you're down and out and you're reading the paper and getting so depressed, put on some music. Makes you feel a lot better. So uh, where were we? We were talking about the Jazz Foundation. We, yes, we were. And uh, they help in so many ways, uh, legal aid and housing and medical needs. And hey, they even present presentations like the one you're at today. So if you happen to be up on your computer and uh, want to go to jazzfoundation.org, Find out what they're doing. And hey, hey, happens to have a donation button up there. If you have a couple of extra bucks, then uh, we could really appreciate it, and we can do even more for all our musicians. So can we help you out? Okay. Thank you so much. So tonight, it's so great to have uh, R.L. down here. Uh, he's from Como, Mississippi, and that's a hill country, right? Right on. You know, in Mississippi, they got the Delta Blues. And they got the hill country blues. That's farther north. Huh? See, it sounds different because it's a higher altitude, right? That's right. Huh? That's right. So it's so, so great to have R.L. because he's been, he's, he's been part of that community for many, many years, all his life. And started playing the drums for a long time. Uh, was with the fife and uh, drum and bands. And uh, then he switched to guitar and... You're glad he did, because he's here today. So please give it up for R.L. Royce. <laughs>
Tell y'all a few things about me and my guitar. <laughs> this is my baby. This is my last baby. No, no, Papa, Daddy, me home. This one won't never say nothing until I use my fingernail. This is my peak. I don't play with a peak. Once somebody learned me how to play this thing, that's main upstairs, not downstairs. When he said give it up, I give it up. You and I can't make me leave this alone. Y'all understand what I'm saying? You know, nobody learned me how to play this but myself. I was playing with an uncle of mine after he passed away. I got beside Luther Dixon, which we call the Mississippi All Star. Him and I sat down. He gave me a few lessons over this, but I learned myself. I got one more somebody's train in my dress song. I call him Kane. He called me Wild Man. <laughs> I'm gonna bring him down. 
said, I'm nothing tired of God.
don't you know Oh, we get along
neighbor wake up to see their friend Yeah. 
Thank y'all. Nice day. Until I see y'all again. 